Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Sunday. So we have some breaking news, okay? So Joe Biden has been facing a lot of political pressure to drop out of the 2024 presidential race. And it has just been announced five minutes ago. I've literally been up literally the past 48 hours editing videos. So I had to stop what I was doing to put this video out. Anyhow, he has made the announcement that he is dropping out of the presidential race for 2024. This is insane. It's breaking news. This is the first time a U.S. president has dropped out of a re-election race in decades, okay? So as we all know, President Old Man Joe Biden is 81 years old, and he's been facing a lot of stigma all of a sudden about his mental abilities and capabilities. A lot of people feel like he's just not all there mentally, that he may have some type of onset of Parkinson's disease and all types of stuff. I'm no doctor, so I don't know, but I know something ain't right, okay? Something ain't clean in the buttermilk. Anyhow, he released this statement as of five minutes ago. I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you guys. So this comes from Joseph R. Biden Jr., dated July 21st, 2024. My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We provided critical need care to millions of veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcome a once-in-a-century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We protected and preserved our democracy. We revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. It's been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it's been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president of the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week with more details about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all of this work. Let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you placed in me. I believe today what I've always have, that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. We will have to remember we are the United States of America. So of course, right now, it's so many things trending on Twitter. It is insane, okay? Right now, Biden is out is trending. Biden dropped out. Kamala Harris, 2024. Michelle Obama's trending. Trump is trending. It is crazy. So then Joe Biden took to Twitter and he posted this two minutes ago. He says, my fellow Democrats, I have decided not to accept the nomination and to focus all my energies and duties as president for the remainder of my term. My very first decision as party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamala Harris as my vice president, and it's been the best decision I've made. Today, I want to offer my full support and endorsement of Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. Let's do this. So this whole situation is crazy. If this is not a Simpsons episode, I don't know what is. Remember, the, the male president in The Simpsons end up getting, you know, pow-powed, and then Lisa became the first female president, so. The most important clues that The Simpsons has given us about the first female president is the fact that in the show, Lisa becomes the first president after she takes over for President Trump. With future Lisa saying in the episode, quote, quote, as you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump, telling her staff in the Oval Office. Is Kamala Harris gonna be the first female president of America? I don't know. I know a lot of people don't like her, so it's gonna be interesting to see if she can, you know, pull it together. But um, 
This is crazy. I was not expecting this today. I do feel like he should step down, you know, just for the fact that he's definitely going through a lot. You know, he just doesn't seem to be all there, you know, bless his heart. But I think they need somebody more competent. Do I think it's Kamala? Uh, I don't know. But let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, tea sippers. I want to know y'all's thoughts on this situation. Breaking news, Joe Biden drops out of the race. How do y'all feel? Are y'all happy about this? Do you think Kamala has a chance, especially against Trump? Or do you feel like they may put somebody else in place to run against Trump? I mean, gosh, America is such a shit show right now. I don't even know what else to say. But thank y'all for tuning in. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Y'all enjoy y'all Sunday, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So tell your friends and your family.